Hi everybody, Paul here from Ballistic Blood Bullets with some good old-fashioned throwback 60s sci-fi goodness. And this is no ordinary one because this is in Space Vision 3D. Yes, this is a 3D release of the classic 1966 movie called The Bubble. Unusual title, but it will make sense when you watch the movie. And this is some movie indeed. A real curio for fans of sci-fi and a real big expansive view for fans of 3D. And this one is, as you can see, released by Kino. And uh, they do release some very, very good movies indeed. I always think of them as being akin to the fantastic UK releasing company Eureka and uh, they do definitely deliver the goods on this one for sure. Really, really very, very pleased that this one's been released and I knew very little about it until just chancing upon it and absolutely thrilled that I took the time and trouble to actually pick it up. This one's directed by Arch Obler. And uh, the film was actually also re-released later, but uh, more about that uh, in a little moment. Uh, this one is the original release from 1966. Got uh, a few extras on here as well. And uh, pleased to say that it is released in its full, uncut, original cinematic version so delighted about that you also get the film in its original well not original because it originally is shot in 3d but you also get it on the disc in a two day two day <laughs> 2d format as well so you can watch the film if you choose not to see it in 3d and uh, it is also released in its amazing 250 to 1 format and is 16.9 friendly, so it will fit uh, your 16.9 TV extremely well. And uh, the 3D effects on this work extremely well as well. And uh, this is a movie, as I say, restored from the old classic print. Thanks to Kino, who uh, released quality movies and uh, lost films and general old classic curios. This one also stars uh, Michael Cole, Johnny Desmond and Deborah Wally, who interestingly enough was married in the early 60s to American film star of many a Filipino B-horror movie production and later famous as the producer and voice intro artist of the A-Team. If you've got a problem, no one else can help. Maybe you can hire the A-Team. And that is, of course, John Ashley. Really, really good stuff. Great credentials about this one. And it is a film I suspect that a lot of people won't even know existed. Well worth your time and trouble seeking out. And as just earlier mentioned, The Bubble from 1966 was reissued in 1976 in a cut form. It uh, was shorn of a few minutes just to tidy up uh, uh, for re-release. But it was reissued under the title of Fantastic Invasion of Planet Earth. The Bubble is a real gem of a sci-fi movie, uh, much in the mould of one of the great Twilight Zone episodes, an extended movie version episode of the Twilight Zone, but in film form, of course. A young couple with expectant mother in labour are aboard a small chartered plane and it's night time and the pilot is seeking urgently a place to land and they find a low lit strip which lands the plane in a small remote town and the couple race to a hospital and the mother has her child. But the town has an unearthly calm about it, and the following morning things are even stranger, as all in the town, occupants included, are going about their business in a repetitive fashion, and no one wants to communicate. The three new adult strangers to the town become perturbed, and when they pack up to leave, just a few miles down the road, 
their vehicle is blocked by an impenetrable clear composite structure which they then discover to be all around and over the town itself. They are trapped under a dome, the bubble. All three are stuck in this eerie populace as days turn into weeks and unsettling occurrences and discoveries take their toll. As desperation leads the couple to uncover a way out to save their baby and of course themselves. But before they too succumb to this fly traps, insidious and unearthly puppeteers. Now the movie is old school cool sci-fi and builds nicely and develops its eerie atmosphere to its shattering conclusion. Now clearly Stephen King's recent TV adaption series of Under the Dome was heavily influenced by this film and like that and series such as Lost, the movie does leave more questions perhaps than gives answers to at the end, but it is the mysterious journey throughout that will engage and hold viewers' attention. That and of course the pioneering space vision 3D process that was used for the next 30 years almost. The bubble truly brings images out of the screen here Whereas today's 3D movies tend to deliver more in-screen depth and quality, the bubble has some staggeringly good 3D effects throughout. And right from the outset, the in-flight plane wing 3D effect is so, so convincing, you feel like you could actually climb onto it and crawl along into the screen to get into the plane itself. Fans of old school sci-fi and mysterious drama will really enjoy the bubble and be thrilled by the 3D effects contained within. Even casual naysayer viewers will appreciate surely its wow factor. The bubble in amazing space vision 3D is a very welcome release. And thank you Kino for giving it new life on Blu-ray. It really is one of those true gem finds and well worth your time if you're a big fan of sci-fi. I really enjoyed this one. It won't be everybody's cup of tea, but for me, loving the old school stuff from the 50s and 60s and before that, of course, but these 3D movies are rare and hard to come by. And thanks to Kino, they have done as that cover states a remarkable job. Really, really did enjoy this one. If you've seen this one, do please let me know your thoughts. If you've seen it in 3D, definitely let me know what you thought of the 3D process because it is a thrillingly good movie. Thanks so much for your time. Always appreciate uh, your watching and, of course, your views. Take care, everybody. See you all soon. Bye for now.